I'm here at HPE Discover in Madrid with Lauren Whitehouse, and one of the big announcements here for HPE at uh, Discover is Composable Cloud, but I'm not sure I really know what that means. Could you, could you help me understand? Sure. So, about three years ago when we introduced Synergy, you know, we kind of created this category around Composable, and Synergy was the first instantiation of our Composable offering. And Synergy is, has a bladed architecture, so what we wanted to do is extend the um, applicability of our composability to a much larger market, which is rack-based solutions. So Composable Cloud is um, a number of software components on ProLiant DL rack systems. Okay. And those software components range from um, OneView, which is going to enable not only the IT management, but the open APIs that allow customers to bring the types of clouds, hypervisors, containers, whatever they like to the party. Um, it also includes our new composable fabric, which is the acquisition of the Plexi uh, solution. Um, so we're embedding that in the solution, and that's really creating a more optimized uh, network fabric. It's a mesh fabric. Um, and so now that everything can be done kind of in a software-defined fashion, we're really streamlining operations for people that don't have specialized skills around networking. Um, the other components that are in there are HP InfoSight, so another acquisition yep. um, of Nimble technology, and, and InfoSight is a way to uh, learn from the environment and apply some predictive analytics to kind of stave off disaster, I'll say. You know, um, know when there has to be a, a change out of a drive or know when something is going to happen and, and uh, either take care of it automatically or advise someone so that they can fix it. So that really helps from a IT ops, AI ops kind of perspective. And we've had that in the storage solution in Nimble, but now we're adding it into our ProLiant systems. Um, the other component of Composable Cloud is OneSphere which we introduced at Madrid last year. Yep. And OneSphere is our hybrid cloud management solution. So it really allows organizations to have visibility across their whole hybrid estate, on-premises, and any public clouds that they subscribe to. And that will provide them with um, understanding what resources they're utilizing and what it's costing, and then also provide a developer experience. So, you know, what's important to developers is to move fast and to have access to the tools and templates and applications that they want, and OneSphere will bring that to them with self-service and um, uh, access to a service catalog. So it sounds like, if I was to like, sum this up in a, in a nutshell, uh, it sounds like you're taking some of the individualized specialization out of uh, standing up a, a rack system, if you will, because you don't need a network specialist and a storage specialist and a, and a dedicated like, server specialist. You have, you have somebody yeah. that can, can kind of look across all of this, the, the software that you've done to made it, make it simpler. It really is an open hybrid cloud environment. Um, and when we say open, meaning we are allowing customers to bring whatever container, whatever hypervisor, whatever cloud system that they want um, to this solution. But we've got the management you know, software stack there to take care of everything. So to your point, um, a lot more optimization so that people can move faster, scale faster. And um, from an economic standpoint, there's also a, a piece there because if you tie in GreenLake, um, GreenLake Flex Capacity, that's really offering the opportunity for customers to um, scale on demand from a, you know, procurement, pay-as-you-go type of a model. So when you look at the whole picture, this open hybrid cloud environment that allows you to move really fast, scale very easily, you don't need a lot of specialist skills, and then you get the economics of the cloud. It's really bringing that cloud experience on premises. So it gives you, it gives you like all the things that people like about having a, a public cloud, of, of not having to think about all the, the underpinnings, but on premise. Yeah, and, and that's important because I think, um, you know, probably about 60 to 70 percent of workloads are going to be spread across public and private cloud, um, and people are trying to manage that whole environment from a single experience, and that's what we're really bringing to them. So yeah, we're mimicking a lot of the stuff from the public cloud and, and trying to bring it all together for folks.
Very cool. Thank you, Lord. Okay, great.